No moi, it's joining, and it has been a little while since we watched a Gacha Life movie, which if you didn't know, there's this game called Gacha Life and you can take screenshots in it and these kids will take these screenshots and make entire movies and just upload them to YouTube. Some of them are insanely long, like over an hour long, like proper full length movie length. And then some of them are a little bit smaller, which they call Gacha Life mini movies because I guess it's a, it's a mini movie. But these stories come from the minds of kids and their crazy imaginations, and they never fail to disappoint. They are insane. The stories are always insane. The twists they take, you would never predict. I am a big fan of watching these, and the funny thing about it is that there's trends. For whatever reason, everyone kind of decides that this month, we're making, uh, I don't know, werewolf gotcha life movies. And everyone makes their werewolf gotcha life movie. Apparently at the moment, it's alphas. Because I have just literally searched gotcha life movie. That's all I've searched. And here we have from various different creators. She's the real alpha. The alpha broke Miss Happy. Forced to marry the alpha. Four alphas and a beta. <laughs> Roommates with the alpha. I didn't even search for alpha, but it seems to be the current trend. So I guess let's uh, get into a, um, <laughs> a gotcha life mini movie about an alpha. I like going for the ones with some less views because here's the crazy thing about this. These pull views, look at this one. It's an hour long, 2.8 million views, 622,000, 619,000 views. There is money to be made making these gotcha life movies. I'm trying to find one that doesn't have copyrighted music in it. I think this one's in the clear. I'm just crossing my fingers. <laughs> this one is the last female alpha, which is just <laughs> funny in itself. Mom, are you sure I can't just stay at home forever? I don't want to go to school. Wait, she needs a better voice than that. Please let me stay. I'd clash compared to everyone. I'm too much of an alpha. Please. <laughs> you can't put me in a school full of betas. No, Caroline. It's about time you start attending school. <laughs> There is nothing to worry about. But what if someone comes and peels the band-aid off my face? What band-aid? What? Where's the band-aid? No one's going to do that. Now, speaking of the band-aid, go and put it on, then catch the bus. Is she trying to like cover something up? Is there something, is there like a, a mark? Is it this? Is it the face tattoo? Is she putting a band-aid on to cover up her face tattoo because schools aren't super into face tattoos? You wouldn't want to be late for your first day, would you now? Actually, I'm rather would. Uh, any, <laughs> any time away from that place would fill me with joy. How'd you know you'll hate it? You've never been to a school before. Guess who was late? Oh, it is to cover up her sweet face tat. I guess that's why she's wearing gloves as well. Why is she wearing a jacket and it is just suspended by her neck? Like she's got like the hood of the jacket tied around her neck. No other than me, Caroline. Yikes. Oh gosh, I was so late to my first class already ended. Oh. Double gosh! Double gosh! <laughs> There's the alpha by the looks of it. And boy, can you tell, you know? First step when you get to a new school, establish who the alpha is. Figure it out. Quick smart. Otherwise, you're going to be at a disadvantage. That's probably him. You know by the jorts. Whenever you see the uh, the guy in jorts, you have successfully identified the alpha. Uh, hi. <laughs> Why are you so early? Oh, early? Early? It's 730 yeah school starts at eight what school starts at 7 30. i don't know you tell me mr alpha man with big ears you got double ears why do you have double ears first of all second of all you're here too we got alpha business to attend to early pre preschool where doesn't he have a band-aid oh maybe that's why he's the alpha because he's like he's too alpha to cover up his sweet skull face tap and i thought i came late wow he must think i'm really stupid <laughs> I've never- uh, I just realized I, I, I don't have a voice for this guy yet. He's American. I've never seen your face before. You must be new, right? No, actually. I'm Caroline. <laughs> what? You must be new. No, actually, I'm not. I'm Caroline. You know what? You're blonde. I'll let it slide. Oh, actually, what? So she actually thought that he thought her name was new? <laughs> you must be that dumb one because a person's intelligence doesn't come from the color of their hair or their second set of ears or tail. Thanks for the info, Blondie. Next time I might actually use my ears to hear it. <laughs> what a, what's a sick comeback. <laughs> Thanks for the info. Next time I might actually use my ears to hear what you said. Oh! Woo! 
Ooh, gonna need an ice bath after that burn. Wait, don't start yelling and turn all red. I need you to help me with something. And why would I help you? You just disrespected me. Uh, because I'm good looking? <laughs> why else? <laughs> Did you not see my skull face tat? My second set of ears? I've got a big bushy brown tail coming out my butt. And did you see the jorts? Not to mention, I've got a hoodie tied up underneath my other long sleeve. B, because I'm the alpha. You guessed right, Bondi. He is the alpha. You knew it from first glance. You got them street smarts. Or C, because you came early and you should help. The answer is, drum roll please. All of the above. <laughs> Boy, and he's witty as well. No wonder he's the alpha. The outfits, I can't. I don't know how American school goes. We had uniforms growing up in Australia, but I feel like this is uh, whatever the not uniform equivalent is of a uniform violation, uh, i.e. you're not wearing it right. You're not allowed to be wearing that. <laughs> Dress code. Oh, okay. So you just be like, oh, I got coded. Oh, guys, I got, I got coded today so hard. <laughs> Miss Williams saw my midriff. <laughs> she hit me with a big slap of code. <laughs> no one says that, Jordan. I don't know. I'm not American. Before we continue, I do want to mention... Um, these are kids, okay? Like, the fact that they made these things, I want to make this clear every single time I review one of these, the fact that they made these things, they're doing more with their, with their time than you were as a kid, and you know that's true. <laughs> they're putting together actual movies that they scripted, and then they're animating them out, they're adding music into it. This is respectable. It's funny, and it's fun, and I'm sure they'll grow up and look back on it and they'll be like, oh, it's funny. There's funny elements that happen and that's why we look at it. But the distinction is not to make fun of the person who made the thing because like, it's kind of impressive. You are not good looking. Oh, yeah, you are definitely helping. <laughs> yeah, you're the one, <laughs> come with me. You have the guts to tell the alpha that he's not good looking. <laughs> okay, you're coming with me. Cringy, but, but uh, impressive. Yeah, I feel like, you know, the writing can be cringy and whatever. The the person making it, the person isn't cringy for making it. They're, they're typically young kids. Now, if this was written by someone who's like 25, <laughs> then I find it a little bit funnier. But <laughs> I feel like usually these are, um, you know, teens or maybe even slightly younger sometimes. Help me put a chair at each desk before the students arrive. Can you tell me what the point is to stack a chair if you're just gonna put it back the next day? Think of the cleaners, okay? It's for the cleaners. It's so they can clean the floor. What, you think it's magically clean, huh? So it's easier for the janitors to clean and it's a nice workout. Yeah, it has the added benefit of it being a super nice workout. You think these guns, you think these guns just come out of nowhere? <laughs> think again. Think about all the chairs I stacked. And workout that you could most definitely use. Jeez. Pretty rude. Oh, we got another character. Um, What does she sound like? Uh, no, we do not body shame around here, love. True, true, true. We do not. Okay, that definitely was a workout. Hey, what happened? I don't know who's saying that. I think that's him. Hey, what happened to your face? Okay, that's it. I'm done with your rude, immature insults. No, I mean literally. You have a band-aid on your face. What happened? Oh, I've got a sick, sweet face tattoo like yours. I guess I could take it off though, if that's allowed. Oh, um, I tripped and fell earlier today. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be healed by tomorrow. Um, no, it won't be. Actually, it was pretty bad. There was a knife on the ground. It gashed. It was the uh, biggest gash. It was, there was blood everywhere. Uh, it's gonna be a long time. Maybe forever. Maybe you will never see me without this band-aid. Wait, then I'd have to take it off. Shoot, I really didn't think that excuse through. No, you didn't. All right, class. Today we're gonna learn about the extension of female alphas. What? <laughs> <laughs> what class is this? And again, I think I'm misunderstanding what they're referring to when they say alpha. I don't think I really get it. Do they just mean... Wait, okay. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Okay, 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 okay. I think I've been overlooking the fact that they have ears and a tail. I... <laughs> everybody... I, I, I feel like everyone else is up to speed, but I'm just now arriving to, to up to speed here. I think it's because they're wolves. I think they're wolves and there's an alpha in the pack. They're not just talking about like alpha males. You know what I mean? It, it's like a wolf thing. <laughs> uh, so apparently female alphas went extinct. Oh, wait, it's all coming together. <laughs> I'm starting to understand the logic now. He's an alpha because he's got the face tattoo. That's what alphas do. She has a face tattoo. It's probably more of a, a birthmark. She has the sick face tattoo birthmark. And so she is a female alpha. And now they're learning about how they went extinct. But she's not allowed to tell anyone that they're secretly not extinct because she is the last female alpha. That was a big revelation to me, but I, I feel like maybe it's, I feel like it was obvious enough that it's probably not a revelation to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Extinction, please. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, female alphas went extinct due to how much power they carried. That's exactly how extinction works. Uh, species go extinct all the time because they're just too powerful. You know what I mean? Take the crocodiles, for example. Legend says that one survived and carried on her bloodline, but that's fake. Like, really? Look around you. Do you see any females with face tattoos? No. Fake. Great Grandma Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, great, great grandma Mary. Great grandma Mary. Marie? I don't know. But that's just a good exclamation in general. Great grandma Mary! Please, the whole thing's fake. Female alphas never existed. Uh, no, that's fake. Okay? Think about it. It's in the history books. Female alphas always existed. They're just extinct now. That is a very strong statement. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Who's saying this? Oh, wait, okay. The fact that he's saying Mr. Peterson is what's, it's, and it's over here. Is it him who's singing it? The speech bubbles don't move. Oh, he exclaimed it. I'm not like the wolf girls, I'm not extinct. <laughs> exactly. I think it's then the teacher saying back to him, that is a very strong statement, Mr. Peterson, but do you have any evidence? No, but do you have any evidence to support your statement, teacher? I'm glad you asked. I do, actually. Here are a few pictures of female alphas that used to live in this very town. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wait, is this like a, is a creator's comment here? There was supposed to be a picture of Caroline's great-great-grandma Mary, uh, but I have no clue what happened to it. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> That's okay. We'll imagine. Hold on. Uh, let me do a quick Google image search. Great, great grandmother Marie. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's Kim Kardashian. This one. That's her. That's what she looks like. But imagine her with big wolfy ears and a sick face tat. Is that Grandma Marie? Wow. She looks so young and beautiful. I really resemble her. <laughs> I, jeez. She's so hot. I look exactly like her. Please, if that's real, then I can shapeshift. That is totally edited. The mark doesn't even match. Haters will say it's Photoshop. Oh, her skin color. Raise your hand if you're sick of this child's nonsense. Female alphas or real. <laughs> Jeez. Imagine if teachers called you out like that in real life. Everybody raise your hand if he is talking a lot of crap. Everyone? <laughs> and you know what? Make fun of him at recess. I want to raise my hand, but I shouldn't. I don't want to draw attention to me. <laughs> Wow, only three students agree with me against Mr. Alpha's statement. Have I taught you guys nothing? You know I'm not even gonna try. Keep your pea-sized brains. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I feel like I chose the wrong kind of voice for this guy. I feel like it's a little bit more intense than I'm, <laughs> I'm making him out to be. He just threw a chair. He just called all of his students pea-sized brain heads and then threw a chair across the classroom. He even impaled a student and, and the student died later that day. Today's history lesson was more stupid than usual. Like female alphas, what a fairy tale. Yeah. Hey, are you good? You're like so quiet. You usually never shut up in like the 30 minutes that I spent with you this morning. Like, I feel like I know you so well. You don't, you're not usually quiet. 
You had a teacher throw a chair in your class. I had a teacher uh, throw a chair off a table um, to get everyone's attention in science class because uh, everyone wasn't paying attention. But then he did this sweet maneuver and it like perfectly related to what he was talking about in the science class. And he was talking about like motions or whatever, things coming to a stop or whatever. And he was like, and that is a good example. And everyone was like, oh, it was actually a pretty epic moment. You must be really lonely. I mean, I know you have no friends, but you're really talking to me. Why me? Go bother someone else. And there she is. I swear this kid acts as if he knows me. Yo, oh, okay. All right, good. We're, we're touching on that. <laughs> the, <laughs> the fact that he's talking like he's known you this whole time. Oh, you won't believe it. You know that edited picture he showed? Mm-hmm. I stared at it for so long thinking, who does this girl look like? And then I thought, it kind of looks a little bit like you. <laughs> like, almost like it could be like your great-great-grandma or something. Then it hit me. Call me crazy, but you're a spitting image of her. I think it's the face structure, the blonde hair, green eyes, face tattoo. You guys have something in common and that's beauty. <laughs> Smooth. No wonder he's the alpha. He's got to sick away with words. Thanks. Hey, I've noticed that you haven't removed your band-aid. I'm, I'm sure it's healed by now. I'm sure, okay, okay, okay. Time's passed. I'm assuming time has passed. No offense, but why do you care? Gosh, get on my case. I don't make, wait, I know, I don't, I don't know. Make, a, my, what does it say? I don't know. Make, because it's covering that beautiful face. Oh, he be flirting, he flirting. That's an alpha flirt. Smooth, real smooth, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I really gotta get home now. <laughs> Creep? You're not gonna help me stack the chairs? She is quite beautiful, I agree. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever help you stack or unstack the chairs again, to be honest. Well, uh, tootles, tootle lady, tootaloo. Wait, you never answered my question. She also has face tat, I bet. She literally did at the start. You must have missed it. She At the start, she clearly had a face tat. Ah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Mum, you won't believe what happened. Let me guess, you blew your cover and now the whole world knows about you. Jeez. Because you're an absolute failure and you never really get anything done. Uh, no. Okay, I'm sure this time I'm actually late. I don't have time to do anything. Oh, we've got a change of clothes. Uh, time to unstack the chairs. I'm kidding, Elsa. Oh, her name is Elsa? Good to know. <laughs> In the last, like, minute and a half. Cheer up. Elsa? Yeah, the gloves. What's wrong? Scared you'll freeze the school? Oh, it's not her name? He's making a reference. He's making a sweet frozen reference. Her name's not actually Elsa. More like, set a target on my back. Female alphas have another mark on their hand. Oh! So she's also got a hand tat and that's like a female alpha thing. Why is she so scared? Like, what's the problem of her knowing? Oh, is he gonna have to kill her? He's probably gonna have to kill her if he knows that she's an alpha. Uh, because that's just the alpha thing to do. Oh my gosh, the band-aid is slipping off. I was in a rush, so I forgot to change it. Oh, here we go, the grand reveal. It finally happened. We needed a little bit more intense music for that moment. This explains so much. Why we refuse to take it off? Wait, but how? I thought there were none left. The picture, the edited picture was my grandma. She did carry on her generation. <laughs> oh, haha, uh, well, I've known all along. Here, we should probably Go get you a new band-aid before anyone else spots. You knew all along. Yeah, right, you knew all along. You had no idea. You wanna help? Are you kidding? I'm talking to the only female alpha in the world. <laughs> That's a brand new sentence. <laughs> just, <laughs> just take that sentence out of context. Yeah, uh, pipe it down. I don't wanna draw attention. Please, that huge mark isn't drawing enough. Wait, what? Please, that huge mark enough is drawing so much attention? What, really? Are people staring? No. They're in history with no teacher. I just know they're yelling and screaming and having fun. I, what's going on? <laughs> Speaking about the teacher, didn't he quit because of your false statement? Oh yeah. He quit? What? What? It's so abrupt. Can we just appreciate the fact this mini movie is exactly 10 minutes long? Yeah, 
because it stops right in the middle. There was no conclusion. He quit. Ends. Me. What dust happened? Okay. Uh, look. All right, guys. We need closure. I'll, I'll make it up. Okay. Turns out teacher didn't quit. Turns out teacher has been uh, uh, running this whole conspiracy theory this whole time. He's sure they're still alive. He's, he finds out. He's like, oh, it's you. I knew it all along. I knew there was other. I knew there was other female alphas. You, you come with me. We need to show the world. She's like, no, mom doesn't want me to show people. And he's like, no, the people have to know. The, the females, they need to know. They need to know that they're, they're being represented or something. I don't know. And, and then she's like, oh, uh, fine. And then he goes and does it. And then, and then. Uh, she tells the world, world, everyone finds out that there's still another female alpha and they turn her into a, a, a queen, a princess. But it's actually the government that wants to control her. And that's why they did that. Because if they have the only female alpha, then they can... They didn't even get the new band-aid. Yeah, okay, they did get the new band-aid. That, that did happen. Uh, because they, before that, before they decided what they were going to do with it. But now the government has control over the, the female alpha. And they, uh, and for some reason, like, she's got some power that, like, you know, she can influence the people's decision and stuff. And so it gets into this whole, like... 30 year long political uh, situation where there's other tribes of alphas involved and turns out there's actually like 15 other female alphas that are in like Norway um, and they've been hiding but now they've been forced out and then there's this whole war and that's actually the second part um, there's the war between the uh, female alphas from Norway fighting against this female alpha and all the male alphas who are like on her side for the first time ever that's never happened in history and it's this big deal anyway uh, come and follow me on Twitch we film this live and get some of my lemon carton merch it's mine but you I'll allow you to have some of it okay Mr. Imn Ota the other kid get some of the Nug Thug merch uh, I'm not I just a drama I do drama not theater and and, and everyone clapped there was lots of clapping throughout and subscribe to my main channel I'll see you guys tomorrow